Okay, so let's try one of these law of definite composition problems. What is the mass percent of carbon and calcium carbon? Okay. So the first thing we want to do is write down the formula for calcium carbonate and what we're looking for, right? So carbon. So then we want to remember the formula for mass percentage, okay? So per mass percentage, if you recall, is going to be percent mass equals the mass of what you're looking for. So you can think of it as mass x, in this case, the general formula, over the, over what? Total mass, right? Times what? 100. Times 100 percent, right? Okay. Very important that you put the percent there because the percent is your actual units for this problem. Okay, if you don't put your, Remember, in chemistry, you don't put units, then your answer is going to be wrong. Okay? So, in this case, right, x is going to be what? Carbon. And the total is going to be what? Come on, guys. CaCO3, or calcium carbon. Okay? So, how will we figure out the masses of these two things? Can you guys help me out? Look at the periodic table, okay? So, the periodic table tells us what? The mass of carbon is what? 12.01. 12.01, okay. What, if, what are we missing here? Grams. It's not grams, right? Because that would be a huge carbon atom. Imagine something that's 12.01 grams. AMU, okay? So remember, just because the periodic table doesn't say it, you gotta remember, okay? In this case, they're going to cancel out. AMU is going to cancel out with AMU, but it's still important to remember. Okay, and how will we figure out calcium carbonate? <laughs> how we do it? Look at the periodic table and add all the stuff together, okay? So, calcium carbonate is going to be, calcium is what? 40.01, right? Or 40.08, sorry. AMU. Carbon. You guys can help me out anytime you want to. And oxygen, 16.00 AMU. But times three. times three, we want to times that number by three. And I'm just using a periodic table that goes to two decimal points, or two numbers after the decimal point. Is that okay with everybody? Okay, so significant figures on this will be two after the decimal point. So three times six, three times 16 plus 0.01 plus 40.08. And I get 100.09 AMU. So is that the right number of sig figs? Even though it's five sig figs and every one of our numbers here has four? Yes, it is, because it's the two numbers after the decimal that's important, okay? Okay, so that's the total mass, or the mass of calcium carbonate, so 100.09 AMU. And up here, plus you, 12.01 AMU times 100%. And how many sig figs would our answer be to, in this case? Four, right? So 12.01 divided by 100.09 multiplied by 100. And, well, in this case, it's going to be 12.00% carbon. Okay. Don't necessarily have to put the carbon there the percentage is required because that's your units for this um, answer. Is everybody okay with that? Questions? 